Okay, here's my quick review of the Apple trades I took today. Yesterday into the close, uh, had a feeling that Apple was going to be weak on the open. Got in some 145 puts up in this range here at 48 cents. Got out uh, as it came down and hit support. Put in a, a nice green hammer candle right here. Well, not really a hammer, didn't close on highs, but a uh, significant amount of volume came in on the tape and at that point went ahead and took off what I had. Ended up being a nice profit there. Uh, over here, it looked like it was going to actually break down below this 145.20 uh, area. A little bit too early on the trigger for me to get into that position. Probably what led to this kind of a move up here is some bears were betting on a breakdown of this and it did not happen. Uh, once it did not happen, uh, short covering had to, had to occur at some point. So uh, overall, had a nice move up. Congratulations, Bulls, if you caught that ride. And nice profits there. Uh, notice a bull flag was forming. 30-minute candle, uh, excuse me, 30-minute time frame actually had an inverted uh, red hammer candle over here, which is a very bearish reversal candle. A significant amount of volume as well. And on the next breakdown after that 30-minute, went ahead and got in some 146 puts up here. And my target was the VWAP. As it turns out, came straight down to the VWAP towards the end of the day. This trade just took a lot of patience. Uh, ended up breaking out a little bit further, and I did end up leaving some on the table, but that's okay. Got my profit and got out of the way. Nothing more at risk. No position overnight here for Apple, uh, for me anyways. So I'm going to be looking at doing something on the open tomorrow. Now we have almost put in a new relative high in relation to this consolidation range anyways. But in order to go back bullish, we first have to get through this 8-period exponential moving average. Today it hit 146.10. Price action did come above it fairly decent amount of strength and just fell right back below it. Uh, that's indicative of buyers simply running out. Um, as of right now, it still seems there's more sellers than buyers, plain and simple. And until we start putting in a new high and a new higher low, this trend is going to continue and we have resistance at the 8 period exponential moving average. And there's obviously no buyers above it. These moving averages here are very bearish and price is most likely going to come down. At least uh, that's what the chart is looking like at, at the moment. So I will be looking for a move again below this 145 area. I'm actually going to move this line down a little bit because I don't want to be triggered into a trade too soon. I'm going to put it right at 145. I don't like to move my lines around too much once I have them on the chart, uh, but is this, this is going to prevent me from getting in too soon. That way I can have my stop just above it and I'll get in and out if it, if it does go against me. Nothing really to enter here on the open tomorrow if it does do anything spectacular. We'll watch for a significant spike in volume to possibly determine which direction it is going to go. But as of right now, it's a huge indecision candle right at what should be a resistance. So I'm leaning more towards the bearish side. And most of my levels here are still going to stay where they're at. I'm going to move this one down just a tad. That's going to be my resistance entry one. I'm going to be short below 145. Any trigger into that will be a breakdown trade, so my stop loss will need to be just above there. A true breakdown won't actually will not actually reclaim that level, and we'll just continue to push down. Target would be down here around this 142 and a half level, if it does go down that far. Now, if any significant amount of fear starts coming into the market, it is likely to go that far. Uh, now, I'm not going to just go ahead and short blindly. I will monitor this position closely if I am triggered into any kind of trades. This will be my trade plan going forward for tomorrow. We'll see what happens.